Russian troops surrendering to Ukrainians, soldiers ignore orders of commanders. New evidence has emerged that Russian troops are surrendering rather than obeying the cannon fodder orders of Vladimir Putin's commanders, according to the Mirror tabloid. According to the publication, a picture shows Russian soldiers stripped to their underwear, blindfolded and with their hands bound near Ocheretino in the Donetsk region. Ukrainian journalist Denis Kazansky reported, a group of invaders refused to die in one of these cannon fodder assaults and surrendered. The Mirror says that Russian soldiers have started a new wave of protest videos to Putin over commanders insisting on throwing injured men back into fresh assaults despite heavy losses. Two brothers, Evgeny and Igor Valetov, told Putin they were ordered to make a fresh attack on Vovchansk despite being wounded. Everyone got wounded. Someone ran away. Evgeny told the president in a video message, I don't know their fate. Perhaps wounded, perhaps killed. My brother and I were wounded. He pleaded, we managed to give ourselves first aid and get out into the woods. The commander says that tomorrow we must go again and storm Vovchansk. But in what condition are we going to go? Everything hurts. We are all wounded and we just don't have any strength. I appeal to the military prosecutor's office, to the president of the Russian Federation, Vladimir Putin. Why send such people, all wounded and exhausted, into battle? It's just to send them to their deaths. The Mirror says that footage of mutilated soldiers sent back to battle was too much for prominent pro-war blogger Anastasia Kashevarova. I can't watch our men die on crutches and remain silent, she said. The Ukrainians would enjoy the images of Putin sending cripples into battle, she made clear. She demanded men on crutches and plastered limbs. What will they do on the front line? She blamed Russian commanders for sending back the troops against doctor's advice. The walking wounded from the 26th Armoured Regiment, 47th Division, pleaded. More than 50 of us arrived from hospitals, the remnants of three companies. Our command is sending us in groups to combat missions. But everyone here requires surgery and hospital treatment. The documents we were given in the hospitals clearly state that we should be given leave due to wounds. We need further treatment and rehabilitation. None of this is fulfilled, on the contrary. Wounded servicemen are sent on combat missions. The military airfield in Primorsko-Oktarsk was hit as a result of a night attack in the Krasnodar region, a serviceman was wounded. The region was attacked not only by drones, but also by at least two missiles, ASTRA sources one serviceman was wounded as a result of an attack on the Primorsko-Oktarsk military airfield on the night of July 5, ASTRA sources in the emergency services of the Krasnodar territory reported. Earlier, Ukrainian Ossenders reported the defeat of the same airfield. In addition to hitting the airfield, an electrical substation in Primorsko-Oktarsk was hit, and some subscribers experienced power outages. In addition, as the governor previously reported, a hit was recorded in a residential building. Six people were injured, a child died. As ASTRA found out, the region was attacked not only by drones, but also by at least two missiles. The Russian Ministry of Defense officially reported that 14 drones were shot down, keeping silent about missiles and hits on a military airfield and an electrical substation. Local authorities did not report this either. According to open data, Primorsko-Oktarsk is a joint airfield in the Krasnodar territory, located on the northeastern outskirts of the city of Primorsko-Oktarsk. The 960th Guards Assault Aviation Regiment, Military Unit 75387, which is part of the 1st Guards Mixed Air Division of the 4th Guards Air Force and Air Defense Army, is stationed at the airfield. The regiment is armed with Su-25, Su-25UB and Su-25SM-3 attack aircraft.